you doing? Me and Daisy. Me and Daisy going down the road. Oh, you're, you're, you're a good girl. Clean my my face dirty. Um, we are heading from from uh, Missouri to Kansas to see some friends. I'm on my trip, uh, my epic month-long trip. I'm pulling the trailer, as you can see back here. I don't know if you can see it. The white back there is the trailer. Um, got everything I own on it. And, um, excuse me, we're tootling along. It's interesting to me, a couple days into this trip, I was like, dude, I have overscheduled myself. There are too many people I'm going to see and too many things but mostly too many people and I'm already tired so I started the 28th of November in Florida went to Hot Springs Arkansas spent two days then I went to Missouri and I spent one day then I went to Wisconsin and I spent two days and then had to drive out of a snowstorm came back to Missouri for my dad's birthday then spent one more day there and then I'm right now like I said going to Kansas City I'm only gonna be there two days and then I head out from there to Colorado so anyway the story is interesting because I one of my friends and she'll see this whatever uh, I was calling her in Kansas City and I was going to just say, listen girl, I have overscheduled myself. I can't come your way. I, I'm just, I have overbooked. And when I called her, she was like, oh, so good to hear from you and I'm so excited to see you. Oh, I can't wait. And it just, I didn't have the guts to pull the trigger and be like, well, I told her, I was like, I was literally thinking of canceling. And to me, it was just a sign that I wasn't supposed to cancel. You know, maybe I'm there to, to bless her, you know. God's got a big plan. So then I get to my parents' house after, you know, all these zigzaggers, Wisconsin and back again, blah, blah, blah. These are big, like, these are, you know, six-hour distance, five-hour, eight-hour, ten-hour that I've been doing at least every other day, and I'm it seems and I and I'm tired so the next one I'm gonna cut off the list <laughs> uh, <laughs> hi Sarah um, I was talking to my mom and dad and thank you Daisy and they were saying or they were talking to me and I said listen I just need to bounce this off of you I'm already tired and from Colorado I'm gonna zip up to Montana and I'm so tired, but I wanted to be with and refresh and be refreshed and bless my brothers and sisters and, and friends out there. And I was like, no, I just don't know if I got it in me. I'm so tired. I'm wondering if I should just cancel. As I said this, my phone is ringing in the other room. And I'm like, what? I wonder who's calling me late at night like this. So I pick it up and it's my friend that's actually from Montana. And she's like, hey, you know, it's good that you're going out there basically to see these friends. So this was a confirmation that I was supposed to go to Montana while I was asking my parents for advice about maybe I shouldn't go. I was just kind of kicking the idea around out, you know. I just needed to bounce my verbal questioning out loud on somebody. And uh, they just so happened to be there while I was doing it. So anyway, I tried to cancel Colorado or uh, Montana. That didn't happen. And uh, I just think it's awesome that the Lord directs our paths. Like it says that in the Bible. And sometimes I think we don't believe it. And, you know, we make decisions. I'm not saying we don't have free will or whatever. But he really... <laughs> He really has an intimate investment and plan devised for each one of us and it was just amazing getting that 
you know, that phone call just in time for me to make that decision. And apparently Sarah, my friend that called, had been trying to call me since 1 in the afternoon. She called me at 9. She called me three times, couldn't get a hold of me. She just so happened to get the right phone number to call me at the exact moment I'm talking about not going to Montana. So, thank you, Daisy. She's licking me. So, anyway, I God is good. That's what's going on. I also prayed another prayer. Here's a testimony. I said, Lord, can you just get me a contract for at least 4000 a week? And I don't mind saying that on YouTube. I don't care. I work really hard for my money. And it varies every contract. It's never the same. Well, I got more than I asked for. And so it looks like I'm heading to Arizona. I thought for sure I would get a North Dakota or a South Dakota or Nebraska, you know, up cold. I was going to suffer a little bit with my trailer. Live a little more rustic than I'm used to, even though I'm living rustic. But it just wasn't in the cards. I tried to go back to Florida because I got to pick my Airstream up around April, May. Um, so it would have been nice to be in the Florida area. So I thought, well, maybe I should get a contract there. Lo and behold, this great contract pops up for Arizona. So if y'all want to come and visit me, I'll be in the Phoenix area um, come January. So anyway, and I am kicking the can down the road of like, do I take the trailer all the way through the freaking Grand Tetons and because I'm going up by Yellowstone or do I drop it off somewhere like I don't know and um, I've come to the decision but what I'm going to do probably is just um, I'm using it in Colorado and some other places I've got some campgrounds already uh, reserved so it would be nice and cheap for me and have all my uh, hookups and utilities and all of that but I think I'm going to find a storage unit and park it in Colorado so I don't have to take it up to Montana and then over to Idaho for Christmas. I'm just going to park it there, store it, take what's important in the truck, have Christmas with my family on the right day. I haven't had Christmas on Christmas Day. It's been about 10 years. It's been a long time. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll head down to Colorado, pick up my home and then head to Phoenix and uh, set up shop down there and just get myself settled. I have several days before I start the contract that I'll be down there just, you know, finding out where the grocery store is at and like, you know, anything in the contract that might not have gotten done, I could just knock it out real quick. Because each contract, it's about two days worth of work, you know, just urine analysis, drug tests, physicals, TV tests, which they do constantly on me. I mean, if you could get t tuberculosis from a TB test, I would have it because I have them all the time. It's so annoying how many times I have to do it a year, but it comes with the territory of making as much as I do. So, oh my gosh, Black Rifle Coffee is a commercial out here. It must be around here. Next exit. Oh, I want to go there. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> side note. Anyway, that's what's going on with me. I'm really excited about this month off. And, um, yeah, I'm going to downsize a little bit more today. I'm going to the Goodwill and dropping off. I'm literally taking my trailer there and just dropping off stuff that... I've realized I'm not using and it's taking up space because once I'm in the Airstream, I don't want to move one more time in my life and move crap that once I get in there, I go, well, I could really fill this box full of junk I don't use and get rid of it. I'm tired of doing that. And I know purging and downsizing is a lifestyle. It's not a one-time deal. It's not a one and done. And I get that, but... I just don't want to move into it with a lot of weight because I have to be a little more thoughtful of how much I'm pulling with that Airstream. It doesn't have the capacity that my trailer... I don't look at how much things weigh when I buy it 
I just chuck it in the trailer because it's actually made for vehicles. You know, it's made for heavy stuff. And obviously, I don't want to go over the max on it, but the Airstream's different. It's, you know, it's a camper, so it's not, it's not made for you to drive up vehicles into it, strap it down, and be okay with the weight. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get ready for that. Um, I have just been really refreshed by friends lately, just seeing all my friends and talking and praying with them and, you know, spending time on myself a little bit. You know, Hot Springs, I had two days where I just, just mindlessly shopped and took a bike ride and went for a hike and got a facial and just kind of splurged a little bit and I, man, I needed that after three months of just living out where nobody I knew was around by myself, extremely isolated. Um, so I'm hoping that Arizona is a little different than the one place I was at. It's not all of Florida, but where I was at was kind of rough. And I'm hoping and praying, I'm praying a lot specifically, God, you know, I'm not, I think, well, not to think, I know, you know, when we're praying, we need to pray out what would be God's will. I mean, you wouldn't want to pray, God, help me steal somebody's money. You wouldn't pray that because I'm sorry, but God's not going to honor that prayer. If a prayer lines up with his will and, and, and the, what the Bible says, that's, that's those prayers that are actually going to, the Lord is going to move on. And so I'm just praying those prayers for Phoenix that I find fellowship, I find people to have community with, that I, you know, find a local uh, parachurch organization or a church, doesn't matter, where I can hook in and go to a Bible study and maybe if there's a Celebrate Recovery there to keep, you know, keep tuned up on that emotionally. It's always life, we're all recovering from life, so Celebrate Recovery just is so good for just whatever ails you, whatever you're going through, hurts, hang-ups, habits, it doesn't matter. It deals with all of that. It's, and so I'm just praying that I find those things that I know will keep me on the proverbial straight and narrow, that will keep me focused on, you know, living the way that would honor God and also bringing me the most peace as possible. Uh, and that comes by honoring God with how the way you live. But anyway, so that's kind of what's going on with me. I'm really excited. I'm enjoying even the Midwest. You know, it's funny when you're in a certain environment for so long, you miss whatever you don't have. And I remember being in Iraq and just, just craving to smell grass. Because in the desert, there isn't any grass. And there's no that fresh cut smell in the summer. You know, you can smell grass. And you can't in Iraq. So I remember my sister-in-law actually sent me like a candle that smelled like grass and stuff. And so for me in Florida, I miss the shrubby old woodsy Midwest, you know, that's big sky and lots of fields and brown leaves and, you know, tall grass and cold weather. I missed cold weather, believe it or not, and it was a shock to the senses, though, because I drove, drove so quick through Florida and got out of there, so it went from, like, 75 degree weather to, I think it was in the 30s, upper 30s, when I landed in Missouri, and I got a little respite in Arkansas, where it was in the 60s, and so it kind of helped me tra tra transition, but yeah, I mean, there's no palm trees out here. There's palm trees everywhere where I was at and, you know, those mossy trees and, you know, always looking in ditches for alligators and tons of crazy wildlife out there. And so it's been nice just driving through the Midwest and seeing our beautiful countryside, like it's where our food comes from. And it's just, it's beautiful to me. So, anyway, and I'm excited to see my friends and family. And um, as along the way, I'm getting stuff done. Like, I owe some taxes I had to pay in 
Missouri and there's some I gotta pay in Kansas and uh, on the Missouri side uh, the county the, the county I used to live in um, but I'm trying to just mop up those things that need to be done and then like I said it'll take two days to go through the what they call onboarding process with my new company I'm in a, I'm in a new company this is the third company that I've worked with um, this year uh, traveling and uh, actually I, I applied for a fourth and I just let them fight it out I said you know this is what I'm looking for I work nights 312s not a minute more um, don't call, don't care where minimum four grand and then I just said all right I checked it out there and said whoever bites first let me know and um, some people were slow to respond some were quick and then some that I the new guy the new person I tried to you know apply for he was like well what are you looking for and well, what are the other companies saying what are what are they offering and I said you know that's none of your business I just this is business don't take it personal dude but I don't know you and I've told you what I want and I don't want to sit on the phone and talk to you about the other stuff that the other companies are offering me I'm asking you to find this and if you can't I get it but this is what I want do you have it and he started prattling off the states and the amount of money that I could get and um stop trash talking and I was just like get on the stick and he's like well you have to finish your application and your references before we can talk contracts and I said I just stopped what I was doing I was like you know I, it takes me two or three hours to put one of those applications together and you're not even willing to look for me you're not even I'm asking you to give me some jobs right now and if you can find something good I will sit down two hours and knock it out and I will send over documents and I will make it happen in a matter of six hours I'll be ready and uh, he wasn't gonna budge well you need to fill out that application and I you know I'm sorry but I'm I'm essentially an independent contractor and I have the upper hand so if you want my business and they're making thousands off of me then you need to bend over backwards to make me happy or else you know I gotta go somewhere else Nursing, travel nursing has just changed so much. It, it, I always say that, but never in my life this year have I seen it change so quick. It used to be, even three weeks ago, they had tons of eight week contracts and they were four and five twelves that you had to work a week. And they were for good money, you know, five, six, seven thousand. Well, in one fine week, I checked one week and then the next week, poof no eight-week contracts I tried three different companies they're all gone 13 26 that's all you could find 13 or 26 weekers they were gone and then they weren't they were wanting me to work the same long hours and yes it's good money but no I'm not gonna do it so it just changes so quick like I made a goal this year that I would pick up four eight week contracts with a minimum of four to five thousand dollars and then I'd be done for the year well they don't exist anymore so it's I have to get my little goal book out my little calendar and renegotiate my goals for the year every contract um, that is a part of the deal that can be a little tedious and exhausting but I'm rolling with the punches that's okay you pay me enough, I'll jump through any hoop. I'll figure it out. So, but that's it. I hope you all are doing well. This is kind of long, but it's definitely a good thumbnail of what's going on in my life and what's going on, what's what's going to be going on. So, um, I'm. I already hit one uh, national park. I did Hot Springs. Um, I still might go to Yellowstone, which I've already been to uh, briefly. But I'm going to hit Mesa Verde, which is in Colorado. I think there's a Dunes National Park in Colorado. I'm going to probably hit that one. And um, Arizona. I'll be there five days before, at least five days before I start my contract. And I'm probably going to head out. I've been to the, the Grand Canyon, but they have like three national parks there. So I'm going to try to knock out a couple of those. And uh, my bucket list is to hit them all while I'm doing travel nursing try to see them all 
mind you, there's like five of them in Alaska, so I'm pending. I'm waiting for that the license to come in for that. I gotta check on that. All right, well, I hope y'all are doing well. Please keep me in your prayers for safety and wisdom as I travel and make these choices who to see and what to do, what contracts to take. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.